Today is May 25th, 2024, Saturday. I received this word from the Lord at approximately 4.56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Lord wants the title of this word to be called, No More of Your Hypocrisy, Says the Lord. As always, we are encouraged and commanded to test every spirit. We're not supposed to take everything that we hear at face value, but we're supposed to take it back to the Lord. Ask the Holy Spirit, did this word come from you? If it did, um, is this for me? What do you want me to uh, take away from it? You can also take it back to him in your own personal prayer time, as well as um, when you're meditating on his holy word, the Lord will speak to you there as well that being said this is what the lord said shall you take part in the unfruitful works of darkness and proclaim my name why do you call me lord lord and not do what i say hypocrites how long am i to bear with you who are you to treat my grace as common in me you live and move and have your being I give life and I take it away. It is I who do these things. Shall a man scoop fire into his lap and not be burned? Shall he dishonor and commit adultery against me and the wife of his youth and go unpunished? Will not what is done in the dark be brought out in the light? Does he who created the eye not see? Does he who created the ear not hear? I have heard you cursing your brother. Did I not say anger in your heart against your brother makes you a murderer? Did I not say not to let the sun go down on your anger and that it gives the devil a mighty foothold? Who are you to hold grudges and harbor offense when you have been forgiven? Shouldn't he who has been forgiven comfort others with the same comfort he has received? Shouldn't he who has been forgiven display the same mercy he has been shown? Did I not say do unto others as you would have them do unto you? Would you want to be cheated on, lied to, and share your spouse with another? Would you want to be the brunt of everyone else's jokes and mocked for your mistakes? Would you want to be the recipient of such slanderous words or be falsely accused? when you had done nothing wrong? Maybe if you were on the receiving end, you might have more empathy and compassion. Maybe if you were on the receiving end, you would refrain from doing such actions. What is it going to take to humble yourselves? Confess your sin and truly repent of it. How many times must you go around the same mountain before you realize it's not leading anywhere, before you realize it's not profitable, before you realize that much time has been wasted. Bring your struggles to me. Confess that you don't have what it takes to overcome them alone. Release them into my care and my hands. Seek me. Ask me to change your heart. Ask me to remove these desires and the strongholds that keep pulling you back into the same toxic cycles. Your weapons are not carnal but mighty for the pulling down of strongholds. I have given you authority in my name when you are my child. Those who obey me obey, those who love me, excuse me, obey my commands. Those who profess me as Lord seek to please me and do my Father's will. My law is written on the tablet of their hearts. Their desires are the desires of my heart. It is no longer they who live, but I now live in them. Why do you honor me with your lips while your hearts are far from me? There is no fear before your eyes. If there was, you would hate evil. If there was, you would be on your way to becoming wise. But even now the axe is laid to the root of the tree. Those not producing fruit will be cut from the vine. I am the vine, you are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. I have the power to graft you in. 
and I have the power to remove the dead branches. Those who are producing fruit will be pruned to produce all the more. Those producing none will be cut off, some into everlasting fire. Some will be handed over to the enemy for a season to remind you, I am not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, he will reap in full measure, and I am not partial. The wages of sin is death. I received the following biblical confirmations. I would encourage you to look them up and read them at your own leisure. The first one is Romans eleven sixteen to 21. Next was John 1, 12 to 13. Deuteronomy 16, 19 to 20. Deuteronomy 28, 58 to 61. Deuteronomy 28, 63. Psalm 37, 1 to 2. Psalms 36, 1 to 4. Psalms 94, 8 to 9. Psalms 90, 11 to 12. Ezekiel 2, 4 to 5. Ezekiel 3, 27. Amos 5, 21 to 24. Amos 5, 18. Job 36, verses 11 to 13. Ending with, but the hypocrites in heart store up wrath.